Thanks. There's something in my nose. <laughs> crop tour actually starts but got a little bit more setting up to do it did rain a little bit woke up this morning had puddles in the driveway got super excited so checked uh checked the weather station app we got and uh eight one hundredths and i walked outside it was drying on my truck oh well i guess it's better than that. things that they're doing at this plot it's kind of spur of the moment but uh they're running this planter a pass just to show uh, they've got one unit tied up or something just basically so you can see the heat and heat from them so, yep we're planting corn in august Craig's got a name tag. Here. Yeah. So, on this strip he's playing, you guys just had four units tied up to demonstrate what? Uh, a couple things we want to demonstrate different seed depths. And we're talking about seed depths. Uh, kind of rained, obviously, a little bit. So, one of the things we, we saw yesterday when we did this is that you could see that moisture level was uneven at certain depths. So, when you're picking planting, you always want to pick an area where you have uniform yeah. moisture. Another one, just kind of want to see what it looks like with uh, seed firmer and no seed firmer. Obviously, in the field, it's hard to tell, but here you can tell when you have a seed firmer and it's there's good seal, seed to soil contact versus the area that there isn't. This one did not have the Keaton. Yeah, because I can see like here. Oh yeah, these ones are down. definitely yeah more pushed down. Gap right, right there in that one. That so yeah, this is just showing. Uh, what that firmer does since the trench is open you can still see where that firmer made contact with the seed i mean you know after you plant it like normally the trench would look like this and be covered up you won't be able to see anything but one thing kind of neat you can also see the singulation yeah that's what i was about to say you can really see the good singulation yeah. you can also see steve's back door's amazing skills at driving crooked so as you can see, uh, all down through this field, they have signs indicating what's going on at that particular part of the plot. And then uh, several places they have rows cut out to where you can walk back into the field and really see, uh, you know, I mean, for example, you can see what, what the stock health looks like when it's planted one inch versus, you know, two inches. Stuff like that, you can see singulation, heavy downforce versus poor downforce. Uh, pretty insightful stuff, it's really, we really thought most of this stuff was a sham last year until we went to the, the or Agco's precision thing last year. And, I don't know, it kind of made believers out of us. Corn's had some wind hitting it. I didn't realize that until we uh, walked in there a ways. You couldn't tell from the road. Imagine that. You can't do all your scouting from the road. Weird. Looking official out there.
Well, I just heard they was gonna have free food. Was I right? It's 10:30, so it's fair. There sure ain't nothing down there to eat, cause I already checked it out. <laughs> Is that your artwork? That is my artwork. Is that supposed to be a planner unit? Hey, look at that. You knew. Yeah, well, just kind of you know, process wheel. of elimination. Yeah. Opening disc. Is that a John Deere planner unit? <laughs> it could be. His <laughs> background a little more. Yeah, so I'm uh, the North American agronomist for Agco. And uh, at this station here, we're going to talk about some planning depth. So if I look and I'm you know, measure an inch down or in less, so inch, uh, half inch, you know, I can start to see more variability in that soil moisture. So, you know, you have a dry pocket there. If you've never been to one of these events with Ohio Ag or Agco, what they do is they'll have different stations set up. So right now there's three groups. And, uh, for example, this group in front of me is going over downforce. Um, the next group down is going over planting depth, and then one down from that. What are they? Oh, they're uh, showing row cleaners and seed farmers and stuff like that. Different add-ons you can do the planter to, you know, increase the yield. But pretty interesting stuff. I realize if you're not in, like into farming, that like in a farming profession, this may not seem that interesting. I know I probably didn't think it was that interesting either a few years ago, but. Like being able to actually see like the results from this stuff because this stuff's expensive. Like downforce is like a thousand dollars a row to put on a planter. So being able to actually see that it does provide a benefit and you're not just wasting that money. To me, that was a, one of the nicer things about coming to this plot last year. So I don't know. Pretty excited to see how it pans out on our ground when we actually get in this to harvest it. And whenever I say downforce, I guess I should explain what I'm talking about there. Like that uh, white planter is equipped with hydraulic downforce. So the theory on that is that your planter units have constant down pressure on them. Whereas like my planter that I use now uses pneumatic down pressure, it's air. So it's a fixed um, pounds of air that are pushing that planter down. So, I mean, depending on, basically your downforce is what's keeping your unit on the ground, giving you a consistent plant depth. Hydraulic downforce is going to be more consistent than pneumatic downforce, and that's going to give you a more consistent plant depth, which is going to give you more even emergence, and that's where it's supposed to make you money. It didn't look a lot different, but look at the root development on these two. Obviously, there's a lot more roots on this one, all the way to the side where here is more straight down. But from the visible eye, we couldn't tell the difference. But if we don't have automatic, it's better to be too much down pressure than too little. All right, that's it for the field uh, field demonstration. So now we're on to the march for lunch, and then I think they're gonna have a couple presentations under the tent. Probably would. Probably could read my lips. <laughs> so he said, "Look at that." I said, "We're talking to yourself." <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe I said that. Yeah, I figured you did. <laughs> Actually, for lunch. Yeah. Looks like I picked up an accessory. Here we go. Here we oh, go. Man, I almost missed it. Yeah. <laughs> now the these are. Yeah, does it meet your approval? What? The food? I don't know. Let me. I'll tell you in about. See how it affects you. I understand. Uh, for part of that reason is because of precision planning. Uh, Bag Info Tech out of Fredericktown, Ohio. Um, glad to be partnering with Ohio Ag here, and thanks to Brown Farms for allowing us to come down. Products including the planner. You want to see the planner testing? Just come up to. Me or one of the Ohio Ag guys, we can answer any questions you have. Again, we really appreciate it. Really want to thank Browns for letting us come out here and do this event. Uh, even if you have interest in doing an event like this at your place next year, let us know. All right, thanks, guys. Kind of getting all the tents and everything tore down. The tent rental company's already here. But, uh, everybody's still lingering talking. That's one thing if you ever come to a farm event like this, it's basically just a good opportunity to catch up with your neighbors. Yeah, getting everything tore down pretty quick. Uh, Jason, our salesman, he's taking the uh, fit and that white planter back. That is the one we planned with, but that is not our planter. So it is going back to the courthouse location. I'm not sure when they're coming after the Rogator. I'd say it'll probably stay here for the night. Soon you're going to be a teller's an event here. Now that everybody's left, the sun's come out, and 
all the moisture that we got last night's going back to looking like a desert. Steve, anybody, you get any good pictures or anything? Uh, Marilyn Cummins just texted me and said, Ohio Farm Journal asked if, they, if there was any pictures from the event. Uh, or Ohio County Journal. Right. You got any? Country Journal? Uh, I got drone pictures or drone videos. Yeah, maybe a couple, if you have a couple stills. Yeah, just like that, it's over. Uh, I'd like to thank High Ag and Agco for uh, you know having this event. So we're pretty pretty impressed with it last year. So whenever they asked if there was any volunteers to host it this year, it kind of made it an easy decision for us. Uh, so it's a good information plot, and I don't know it's going to be interesting, especially when we harvest it, to see what the end result is. So I mean, it's nice to see it at a field day, but like for me, it's going to be really cool to see it in the yield monitor. So. But thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farming Videos and Facebook at Brown Farms. And we'll see you in the next video.